Wait, I forgot something. How about we just rewind it back? สวัสดีครับผมไม้อาชิตพลเครมครับแล้ววันนี้นะครับก็จะมาเป็นอีกคลิปนึงนะครับแต่ไม่ใช่ฟลอกนะครับวันนี้จะมาทําอาหารนะครับแล้วก็เดี๋ยวจะมาทําให้ดูแต่ตอนซื้อเลยนะครับว่าผมซื้ออะไรบ้างนะครับเดี๋ยวก็ไปดูเลยครับท้องฟ้าสวยนะเ
And today I'm gonna try to um, teach you guys some German because yeah, some of you ask for it, so I'm gonna do it. Um, first of all, I have to say I'm not a native speaker or anything, so don't get me wrong if I'm, you know, say anything wrong or something, you know. So, yeah, I just try to teach you some simple words or even like a simple conversation that you could use in Germany and stuff. And now we done cutting onion. We're gonna leave it like this. Now it's time for uh, garlic. But one thing about garlic that I don't like is the smell. Not when it cook, like, but it stick to your finger, like when you cut it or anything. And now I'm gonna use this to, you know, uh, with the garlic. It's easier than chopping for me. Just gonna just, you know, slice it like. So, I just finished cutting all of these. I'm gonna put it on the side first. And now we're gonna pair in this uh, spinach. Gonna wash it first, and yeah, we're gonna put it just, just put it in with the with the pasta. I don't know how much, but just like I don't know if you like spinach, just put it in a lot if you like. I actually I don't know. I I actually don't like spinach, but you know I have to eat it. It's gonna shrink anyway, so like I won't even taste it. It's gonna put a lot of it. And the rest it goes into fish, and this is gonna wash and yeah. Really stay here a little bit. Leave. Now water is start boiling, so I'm gonna put some salt. A bit. Now, for me, for one meal, I'm gonna put like half of this. Um, like, stir it, and now we wait like 10 minutes. Yeah. About like 10 minutes, we're gonna wait to cook. So now, um, let's talk some German. So first, um, begrüßung. So first, you have to say hello, how are you and stuff. So, in German, in German we say hallo. That means hello, hi, hallo. That's the easiest thing you can say. And if you want to say like, good morning, you can say good morning. Guten Tag. Guten Tag is like good afternoon. And um, Guten Abend is good evening. And Good night is uh, Good night is um, Gute Nacht. That. So you can say Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, Guten Abend, Gute Nacht. And um, like when you want to ask how are you or how are you doing or what's going on or what's up, something like that, I would say. Wie geht es dir? You can say, wie geht es dir? Or you can say, wie geht es ihnen? So, the difference is that the one with ihnen is more polite. So, if I'm talking with friend, with my friend or something, um, I, I would say, wie geht es dir? And if I talk to my, like, I don't know, my coach or the one who, like, I don't know, the person I, who I respect, I would say, wie geht es ihnen? Something like that. It's more polite. Like, yeah, with my friends, I say, wie geht's dir? Or, or, was geht's? Or, yeah, so was. And now, the answer, so I'm fine, thank you. Uh, it would be, mir geht's gut, uh, danke. Mir geht's gut is like, I'm, 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 I'm fine, I'm good. And yeah, I'm fine, I'm good. And, and after you say, mir geht's gut, you can say, und, und dir, bei dir. Or un ihnen, bei ihnen, like you ask, you ask them back, you know, like thank you and you, or something like that, yeah. Just remember, hallo is easiest thing, hallo, wie geht's dir, wie geht's gut, 
dear that's the only thing you need for first you know conversation with the german und danke is thank you danke yeah that's that's it like that's that's good if you can say like something like that danke wie geht's dir mir geht's gut yeah that's a good start but personally i think german is really hard because you know german has wer die das is like it's more like it's more like gender german just give a gender to a stuff or something like that but i don't know too I, i'm not good at grammar i'm here for six years and i'm still like can't perfect like german yet you know and i think i'm never gonna perfect it because it's really hard to like understand and stuff because I don't know, it's hard to explain, like, this daddy does, that is hard, man, that's really hard. If you feel me, like, if you're, like, not from Germany or if you're not, like, native speaker, it's a re really hard for you to, to learn that. So my English is also not perfect, but I try to speak English to practice, try to keep improving, and because who knows, like, Someday I might move to, I don't know, other countries and have to speak their language, you know? If I, if I move to France, I, I want to learn French, you know? Or Spain, something like that. It's cool, like, if you can speak a lot of language, it's, you have an advantage in your life and your, your job and stuff. So it's really good if you can speak multiple languages. One thing you can do is, I think, reading and watching videos or movies in, in that language that you want to learn i think it might help because for me I, I watch a lot of like movies in english with subtitle too even though even if i know the word already but i just want to read it too you know like how they uh form the, the sentence or, or the grammar or something like that you know yeah because when i was at boarding school uh, nearby I have a lot of friends who speak English. I spoke English with them, like, all the time. And in school I speak German all the time too, so it's good that I use uh, many multiple languages. So now, um, sorry, 10 minutes. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna drain the pasta. So. Now it's time to do the the sauce. Uh, it's not hard. It's just easy, man. Just put some oil in it, a little bit. I use um, Deutsch, das heißt Rapsöl. Ich weiß nicht, wie es auf Englisch heißt. Um, ja. Als erstes um, tun wir tun wir um, Zwiebel rein. Size. Size. Now I'm gonna put, put first I'm gonna put the uh, uh, meat in because if I put like um, garlic at the same time as uh, onion, the garlic gonna burn first. So I put the garlic with the meat. Now you can yeah, actually you can add some oil now too. So it's not stick a bit, you know. But nah, it's good here. Or you can add the actually you can keep that water from the pasta that you cook with. Um, you can keep it for later, like to use here with the sauce if you like. I used to do it, but now I change it to use milk. Now put some some spice you can add the milk now I also don't know how much but I just estimate it like you know just by my feeling you know just mix mix like it depends on how creamy you want or how soft you want I'm gonna use half of these for for one meal Now it's almost cooked, so we're gonna taste first. Wow. Yeah. Now just depends on what you like now. You can add more salt, more spice. 
It's up to you. I told you, this is just like, you can't do anything with it. Like, anything. And now, almost cooked. Put the pasta in. Put the pasta in. And stir it a bit. Keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Yeah. Yeah, look, and, oh, and almost forgot spinach. You can't put, actually, I forgot to put in with the sauce. But now I just put in, almost, almost forgot. Just put spinach in. Yeah. I like to stir it till spinach, like, you know, almost dissolve. So I don't feel the taste of the spinach. But it's, you know, it's there, but I don't taste it. So, put it on the side. Now, plate. So, yeah, that's it. Now we taste. Ooh. Now, so it looks like this. It's creamy and yeah, let's try. It. every day mm. oh it's hot too oh it's good now I'm gonna go eat and finish my my food I hope you guys enjoy this video if you like this kind of video just give me a like and subscribe and yeah and don't forget to follow my Instagram if I have anything to update you guys, I'm gonna do it on my Instagram. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna finish my food now. It's really good, so don't forget to try it out. Now, I'm gonna go eat. And hope you guys enjoy it. And see you next video. Mach's gut.